Well, I'll tell you what guys, this has got to be one of the dead set best campsites I've ever been to. And as a result, I'm going to cook up a feast fit for a king. Now tonight on the menu, we've got lamb roast in the camp oven. It's not going to be any old lamb roast though. It's going to be lamb roast with carrots, potato, it's going to have a bit of pumpkin, with rosemary, garlic, it's gonna be absolutely superb. And it's a dead set favorite with all the camera crew and the rest of us. So let's get into it, eh? So first up, a bit of cooking spray in the camp oven. We get the lamb roast out of the Waco. I'm running the Waco CFX 65 liter dual zone. It's the fridge freezer combo. We'll cut this open. Yeah, it's gonna fit perfect. Now I've got the roast in there. The next step is to make a few incisions on the top. That's mainly so I can put the rosemary and the garlic into. Hey Graham, have you got a sec, mate? Yeah, mate. I'll tell you what, can you do me a favour? Yeah, mate. And um, in the little fridge in the centre console, yes. I've got rosemary and garlic. Rosemary and garlic. You want to get that out? You're getting all gourmet on me. I'm getting all gourmet, mate. Rattle. Garlic and rosemary, mate. The smell of that alone. We haven't even cooked it. Lamb, garlic and rosemary. It's about the size of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they really go together well. So what I've done now is I've put the rosemary in all little crisscross yep. little sections I've made in there. So the rosemary really infuses into the lamb. Salt and pepper is the last thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. Down to the gym salt, salt and pepper in the same <laughs> one. I, I find it's good because you don't have to carry two things, only just one. Now what's to go? We'll have a look at that first, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, it is a work of art. Actually, what are you doing with veggies? We're doing another camp oven? Well, what I might do is I might put this on the fire. It's going to take probably about an hour and a half or yep. so. Put this on the fire and then pull it back off the fire. Yes. I'll put some new coals in anyway. Yes. Then I'll add the veggies. Add the veggies. And I'll take about 45 for the veggies. So okay. about halfway. I'll take okay, it. okay, okay. Yep. Give me a good chance to check what's going on. I'll tell you what, guys. It's been about 45 minutes, according to my watch, mate. Yep. What do you got? About yep. 45? Yep. Spot on. So we knocked the coals off this. And just to have a quick check of that lamb roast, we've got to put those veggies in, don't forget. Oh, Where are the veggies, mate? That is still got a lot of heat in it. I know, mate. I know, I know. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Don't drop it. I'm going to drop it. I'm be most upset. It's, yeah, it's still got a fair bit to go. It's only been in there for 45 minutes, folks. We're going to put those veggies in. There's a lot of juice in the bottom of there, so. If I stop eating the carrots, stick. we'll be right. Put those straight in. The roast goes back Good in man. there. Good man. Yeah, lid goes back on. Careful, carefully. What we'll, do you think on top there? We'll put it a little bit, not too much though. Yeah, okay. It's got so much heat in there. Oh, it is amazingly hot. There we go. Oh, I feel like putting Jimmy Barnes on. <laughs> Woo! Oh, well, mate. Mate. It's got to be just about done, I'd say. You're spot on. Oh. All right, I've got to be careful here. Be careful. That looks good, mate. I've got a feeling that meat's going to fall straight off the bone. Don't, don't drop it. I know, I keep putting the pressure on you here. I've got it. I've okay, got, I've got okay. This. I've got this, mate. Okay. I'm a chef. You're not. Oh, yeah. That's cooked just about perfectly, I reckon. That's all right. That's superb. Now, do you want tiny taters? Did you make some, did you? I'll put some on the fire, mate. Oh, beauty. A mouth-watering lamb roast cooked to perfection, veggies and all the trimmings. A million stars in a cloudless sky, and a few cold beers around the campfire. This is what we live for.